what's the monkey going to do? It's going to go... <laughs> couple more monkeys, so you remember. Talk to Write is an initiative launched in 2008 to raise standards in writing. If children can sequence and tell a story verbally, they can start to write it down. Please give my hats back, please. So let's just do the please. Please. Story time, it's story time. Look, listen, shh. At Pegasus Primary, situated in a pocket of high deprivation in Oxford, storyteller Chris Smith is visiting class two on a day entirely devoted to storytelling. First they hear the story, then they draw a picture of the story, a kind of map. Third, they step through the story using physical movements and sounds to remind themselves of what's happened and then they're ready to tell. Chris tells a traditional story about a hat seller whose wares are stolen on his journey to market by some thieving monkeys. So in the first stage, I'm going to market to sell. the teacher tells the story to the class, not reads it, but tells it, and they listen. And one day he'd made a basket full of hats, and he put it on his head, and he's walking through the forest singing a song like this. I am going to market, to market, to market, I am going to market to sell my hats. What happens first in this story? Who can tell me? Uh, there was a boy, he was a hat maker. And he's, he's walking through the forest with, with a, a basket on his head singing a song. Basket of hats on his head singing a song. So I'll do a little picture like that. There's the man, there's the basket, and there's the hats. Story mapping is the first way of helping the child remember the sequence. So they have a piece of paper and they draw pictures of the main things that happen in the story, step by step. What's the first picture? This is the bit where he carries his hat to the market. In order to be able to do that, they have to re-picture and relive the story a little bit and condense it down to the main points. You ready to do the stepping? <laughs> Off you go. Story stepping is a way of remembering the story by moving the body and making sounds or saying a few words for each movement. It's like a series of free freeze step, frames step. of the story. And when you watch people telling stories, you'll see that the body often starts to move first and reminds the teller what happens next. Hats falling down. <laughs> Daddy, tell, tell me a story. story. Have a seat. We're going to tell a story like this. I'm going to start. When I've had enough, I'm going to give you this, and then you continue the story. When you've had enough, you give it back to me. Once upon a time, there was a hat maker. And one day, he was going to market through the forest with a basket full of hats on his head. What's the next bit? Who can tell us the next bit? Just what happened? And she sells his hat, mm. but, um, the monkeys Bef be go to sleep. Go to sleep, very good. The next bit is going to sleep. Can you tell us that bit? Next, he went to sleep. <laughs> then we'll pair them up in twos and they can start telling the story independently. Children begin often by copying exactly what they've heard and then they start to play around and add their own words as they go. I'm going to market, to market, to market. And then um, he, he got near in the forest and he was feeling tired so he, had a li he drifted off to sleep. When he woke up, the hat wasn't there. The man... The man um, collected, quickly collected them all up and he went, yes! Having listened to the storyteller with her class, teacher Nanette Stormont provides prompts to help them get started writing. <laughs> what the first time words that we're going to use to introduce our story? What could we use? Once upon a time. A hat seller. And what was that storytelling word we used to join those ideas? <laughs> Who 
Shared writing is absolutely key. The teacher, as a writer, shows their thought processes as they think about what words, what am I going to use next, what is going to be in my next paragraph. Stop. What do I need to start my next sentence with then, Courtney? The capital letter. Capital letter. Because the children don't see that bit, they will never understand the process of being a writer. When I move it into writing, it's quite tricky to change their language from a storytelling language as they're speaking it into a more formal written language. So to scaffold that, we kind of start with a sentence structure and help the children, they suggest words. That's how they get to choose and make the story their, their own. So what are the key steps to be taken before writing? Teach your children to become storytellers using this method, hear, map, step, speak.